there, Air Gunners. Welcome back. This is Zach from the Shooter Zone, where we are always staying on target. Well, okay, I've been waiting for this one for a while. I gave you a review on the Gauntlet 22 caliber. Now we have today the Gauntlet in 30 caliber. A lot of people have been raving about this rifle. Um, what I have shot through it so far, I love. So we're going to uh, put some rounds to it today and see what it does. I have the chronograph set up. Um, I am going to do at least one or two more reviews on this. Today I just want to give you the fine bits of it. Uh, I want to go through this and work on the trigger a little bit and adjust that and do a couple other little things before we really get down to the nitty gritty. Um, but let me kind of tell you a little bit about it today. I'm just going to go right off of the Umarex site here. It says this, Velocity with lead 44.75 grain pellets runs 1,000 feet per second or 99 foot-pounds. Again, we're going to check that today. Max tank fill is 4,500 PSI, and it does have a 24 cubic inch tank on it. Uh, this is a regulated rifle, and it is regulated to 2,800 PSI. It includes two seven-shot rotary magazines, uh, one single shot tray, which is what we're going to be using today. Um, so adjustable single stage trigger. Once you adjust these triggers, they end up being pretty nice. Adjustable hammer spring, which is always nice. Uh, it's equipped with a half by 20 muzzle and threaded. Um, so you can put your, your uh, hush can or uh, any other brand. Uh, silencer or or uh whatever you want to call it on there regulator or, or muzzle brake or whatever you want to put on this it's threaded so you can do that 28 inch barrel 8.9 pounds uh that is with tank and magazine uh has m lock so the only thing i did with this is i did install an m lock on here so i could put the bipod on here uh, and that's pretty much it for this does have adjustable cheek piece um and uh, does have the fill port already included in part of that, so that's always nice. We do have today the 4x24 uh, 50 millimeter Axion scope. This thing is beautiful. Uh, it does have a lit reticle too, if you want to use that. Red, green, red, green, blue, pretty sure. I don't typically use them, but it's there. Some people love them. Um, if you don't use it, it's just, you know, black crosshairs, just like normal. Um, does have lockable positions on the height adjustment and also the right and left adjustment, which is nice. Once you get it locked in, you just push them down and it'll stay in that position. What else do we have here? I think that's it for now. 30 millimeter tubes, by the way. So this way, if you order this scope, it doesn't come with a uh, with scope mount. You have to make sure that you order 30 millimeter tube mounts. Um, so that's something you're going to need to know so you're not sitting there holding this scope with no mounts to put it on. All right, so what are we gonna do here? Again, I have the chronograph set up. I have the target out at 40 yards. We're gonna put three rounds through it just to see uh, what it does. This is, it's pretty loud. So uh, again, you're going to wanna to put some sort of uh, suppressor on it of some sort. Um, again, I'm waiting for the adapters for mine for my hush can. And today we're just going to be running the JNB Exact Diablo 30 caliber through it. Uh, I do have some Flanagan 69 grain boat tails, but I want to wait and I want to make sure that uh, I do fine tune the trigger first and just have this gun set up the way I like it before I run those through it. Flanagan pellets um, and Flanagan slugs, both are great. Ball ammo too, depending on what round you get. But Flanagan stuff is probably some of the most affordable stuff out there, and it is high quality, so keep them in mind. That's it, I think, for right now. We're going to put some rounds through this and see what happens. I need to go out there, and I need to turn the camera on for that, and then we will go from there. So, hey, hang out for a minute, and I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Again, we're going to put three rounds through this. Crony is set up. Let's load a pellet in there. All right, let's see what we got here. A 
one, then we're gonna put three through this. A lot of noise out there today. Two. Three. Okay, so we got one hole, 40 yards. Um, of course, it's not perfectly round 30 caliber hole, but one hole at 40 yards. Uh, again, this thing is, is accurate. It's everything everybody has said. We are running 998 feet per second on that last shot. Um, we were not filled all the way up. We were filled to about 4,000. Uh, PSI, but again, it's regulated at 2800, so that shouldn't matter. So this thing does exactly what Umarex says it does. This scope is superb. I love these Axion scopes, and uh, man, I am looking forward to making some little adjustments on this trigger, uh, so it doesn't have as much uh, free play in it, and uh, make it nice and crisp and light and uh, break really nice I mean what could I say that I already haven't this thing is uh, everything they said it's an excellent gun uh, again I love this new stock design over the old one uh, I love the color of this it's got everything that I would look for in any rifle of this caliber and that's it I mean uh, again I I can't do anything else but fully recommend this rifle um, again, this is video one of this, video one, review one, and uh, I'm going to try to get back here probably the beginning of next week after I do some adjustments and do this again. Hurricane is coming up from Florida. We're going to get some rain over the next few days, and uh, so I need to let that blow by. But hey, if you haven't subscribed to us yet, please click that little button below. It helps us out tremendously. If you haven't been on our page on Facebook, it's The Shooter Zone on Facebook. Look that up. Like and follow the page. That helps us as well. Um, that's it. Again, look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Be safe. Do lots of shooting.